And lastly, we have our tentative class schedule. So I do have an asterisk here and in bold saying all work is due on the due date shown by 11.59 p.m. There will be no late work accepted. So remember that every one of our assignments throughout the semester is going to be due by 11.59 p.m. on the due date. Now most of these due dates, every single one except for the last week of class, is a Sunday. So all of your assignments each week will be due on Sunday by 11.59 p.m. The only exception is the last week, if you look down at the bottom, week 16, and that's because the end of the semester actually ends on a Friday. So please be aware of that. Please make sure that you schedule accordingly. Make sure that you understand that that very last week when you have exam five due and the end of the semester quiz, that that is due on a Friday instead of Sunday. So if we look at the table here, you can see that this is each week of the semester, including our Thanksgiving break week, and then the unit that is associated with these specific topics. So these are the topics that are covered each week. And then this is the due date. So again, these are all the Sundays, and then this is the Friday. So if you look here, this is our first week, which is our general course information week. All of your assignments, all four assignments, the notes, the homework, the lab, and the quiz, is all due by August 30th, which is Sunday, by 11.59 p.m. By Once you submit all four of those assignments, you will unlock the Intro to the Human Body module, or on August 30th at 11.59 p.m., this will unlock. <clears throat> so then the Intro to the Human Body is the next week, second week of the semester, and that all four of those assignments, the same one, the lecture notes, the homework, the lab, and the quiz, will all be due by September 6th, which is that following Sunday. And you can follow along. The next week after that is chemistry. Then the next week is cells and exam one. So please be aware of the exams. That's when you're going to have two things or two modules due that same week. So you'll want to plan accordingly to make sure that you get all four assignments for cells done, as well as the exam in this example. So for cells, you'll still have to have all four assignments, the, the notes, the homework, the lab, and the quiz. But then you also have to make sure that you have plenty of time before that Sunday to complete exam one. And exam one covers everything previous to the exam as listed here. That means Intro to the Human Body, Chemistry, and Cells. Okay, I don't have any of the general course information on exam one. Then, the week after, you have the integumentary system. Do that Sunday. I have a note here that I recommend that you start the skeletal system this week. So the integumentary system is actually a very small, very short system. Um, so I do recommend that you get right in, get that done on Monday or Tuesday, and jump into the skeletal system because the next two, the skeletal system and the muscular system, are both uh, very detailed and have a lot of information. So I really, really feel like it's important for you to get working on it because as soon as you submit the integumentary system assignments, you unlock the skeletal system. So I recommend that you get to work on the skeletal system early uh, and then you can work on that for the rest of the integumentary systems week, week five. And then you still have all of week six. However, I do also say I recommend starting the muscular system this week. So I would kind of shift those things. I didn't want to complicate it with some different due dates in the middle of the week and things like that. So I just put in here as a recommendation that you start working on these things ahead of time. Because then on week seven, you have the muscular system and exam two. Uh, which is a lot of work because the muscular system is a lot of work. Later on in the semester, I also mentioned on week nine, you can see here the endocrine system is similar um, in breadth to the integumentary system. It's a small system. Um, so I do, again, I highly recommend starting the cardiovascular system this week so that you have plenty of time for the cardiovascular system on the next week, um, as well as exam three. So, for, so once you've completed week four and the exam one, then you have the integumentary system, the skeletal system, and the muscular system, and then exam two. So exam two will cover these three systems here. And then moving on, nervous, endocrine, cardiovascular will all be on exam three, et cetera. Exam five, again, will cover the urinary system and the reproductive systems, and that's on exam five. Now remember that the end of semester quiz <clears throat> is covering the entire semester. Um, so that will be everything from introduction to the human body all the way through the reproductive systems. However, 
there will be more information on the earlier topics than there will be on the urinary system and reproductive systems because you will have just taken an exam on those two specific systems. But do remember, again, that both exam five and the end of semester quiz are due by that Friday. Um, so, and at the end of semester quiz, you can take multiple times. So I do always recommend that you get exam five done early in the week, and then you can really get in there and do the end of the semester quiz over and over and over again until you get the score that you would like.